Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to play with some makeup that I bought at iMats not too long ago and I just come up with this kind of grungy look so I hope you guys enjoy that and if you do please like and subscribe down below. I'm watching to see how I come up with this look and if I enjoyed the products and if I didn't and you'll be able to see by the look of my face. The <laughs> first thing I'm going to start with is this NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. So there's actually no details on how they want you to use this like I know a primer is a primer you put it on but if you what it does if it fills in your pores or there's literally no information about this so I'm just gonna put it all over I know everyone likes to do this because of the look at that so it's a flat head as you can see it reminds me of one of those glue sticks that you have in school to smear smear PVA glue so I'm just gonna put a little bit on and then let's see how much this actually covers. So that literally just did half my face. Oh fuck. I just dropped it. And now I'm going to do the other half. Gold reflex in it. So it makes your skin feel a bit tacky. But it dries down quite quickly, so once I'd done that side and went on to this side, this side had already dried, and now this side's basically dry. But there's a little bit more on this side than there was on this side. So, we're going to put my favourite foundation over it, which is, well, i got two favourites, but at the moment, because I'm tanned, I haven't got a dark enough tan shade in my L'Oreal True Match. But I do in my Conceal and Define, so we're going to use that one first. And I'm the shade F12 at the moment. So let's see how this primer does over my fa favourite foundation. It's going on really well. There's like no patchiness, no dryness. It's not clinging to anything. So I'm just going to finish the rest of my face and I'm going to come back. Okay, so that foundation went on very well over the top of that primer. Like, it feels exactly the same as it does when I use my professional. I have no no cons about it at the moment but we'll see how it holds up during the rest so i'm going to do my concealer now and let's see how that goes i'm just going to use the conceal and define in the shade c5 everything's going on just as normal as it would do if i used my normal primer that i love i do love that dewy primer by nyx however 15 pounds just wait for it to go on free for two offer I'm just going to sit under my eyes with the RCMA No Colour Powder. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade 3R or 3C. Which is actually a bit too light but I've got no darker powder. And the Banana Powder by Revolution leaves a white cast so be careful in flash photography with that. So I haven't got any new contour shades so I'm literally just going to use the Face Form Contour and Blush Palette in Light. You've seen me use this many times so I'm just going to skip through this and I'll be back. So I am all bronzed up and it looks patchy but it really isn't. It's just how bright these lights are. And next is I have five new blushes to test from iMats and you would have seen these in my haul. So I don't know which one I'm going to go for. I've got two by Stargazer. We've got number four and number two. They do look quite dark, but I promise you, probably when they go on the, sh the skin, they're not going to be. But then I've got these three by NYX, and I have Bitten, Bronzed, and Pink the Town, which is this nice corally colour. I think I'm going to go for this one. Very pigmented. I really really like that blush. Next is highlight and can you imagine I went IMAX and didn't buy a single highlighting shade. So I was thinking I have these two eyeshadows again by Stargazer and I have peach flush and groovy gold. What happens if we mix these? I think that might be too dark so I'm just going to test it out on my hand first. It 
it is just glitter. It is literally just glitter on my face. It's giving a good sheen, but it's just glitter. So don't try that as a highlight. But it was good to test it, but in camera it looks good, but in person it literally is just full on glitter pieces on your face. So let's move on. And next is, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because there's nothing new for my eyebrows. And then I'll come back to do my eyes. So you guys would have seen this in my eye mats haul, but I'm going to use the Kalahi palette by RLG Cosmetics. And I'm going to be straight back because I need to shut that window. So the brand is cruelty free. However, it's not vegan, so for anyone out there that always wants to stay vegan, this only says it's cruelty free. And let's start with this colour in my crease. It is very pigmented. I'm going to darken the crease up with this shade here. Then on the outer and inner corner, I'm going to use this red shade, like a tinier brush for that. That shade comes off more pink than it does red. Then below it, I'm going to take this orange shade and just blend it out into the inner corners. Then I'm going to go in with this dark burgundy shade right here and just deepen up the outer corners. And for the halo, I think I'm going to use this pop of blue colour right here. It's just, it's just screaming to me. It's showing up. Then you want to take your blending brush and just blend out the edges. And on the bottom of the eyes, I'm going to mix this red and orange shade together that I used on top for the halo. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom lash line. So I've added mascara and I've actually made the blue like a three quarter um, cut crease just because I didn't like it as a pop. I like it much better as a three quarter um as a cut crease than I did as a, a halo eye so I did just switch that up a little bit and I have a new lipstick and I hope this lipstick is actually going to suit the eye look because the eye looks quite heavy and quite grungy so let's see if this lipstick suits it. This is the lipstick by Cryolin. It is it's a very sheer pink colour. I'm not sure if the pink is going to suit it. So let's see if I've got something else. I'm going to go for the red. So this is the Jennifer Lopez Besame um, lipstick. And this is by Inglot. So she collaborated with them on this lipstick. And I'm going to see if this suits it. This actually smells like something from my childhood. It smells like cherries. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and me playing with some eye matte makeup and coming up with something different to what I usually come up with and I really like this lipstick it smells like cherries that's all I'm smelling at the moment so please like this video and subscribe down below and if you have any pointers or any um, reviews you want me to do just let me know and I'll be sure to hiccup I'll be sure to do them so I'll see you soon guys bye